Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ridge from Young Blood Reviews, and it is Monday. Oh, Monday's about to be the worst day of my entire life, because guess what starts on Wednesday? You've got it. School. And Monday's just one of those days you hate, because it's the beginning of the week, and it's the day you have to get up at around 6.30 or 5 o'clock, depending on where you live. I, some people get up at 5, some people get up at 5.30, and then some people get up at 6, and then 6.30. I get up at 6.30. Frankly, I have no... Um, reason why I do that, it's just I'm very lazy. So yeah, uh, bad thing, I almost forgot to make this video. It's been a very long Monday morning, and it's been a very busy Monday morning, actually. I had to go get some school supplies, and then I was in Florida, um, Wednesday, and then I just got back yesterday, so it's been a very, 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 very long week. Uh, and school shopping, and it's, it's been really hard. It's been really hard. So, this week we're actually talking about fantasy versus realistic fiction, and I'm going to be very honest right now, I don't even know how to do this topic, but uh, there's one of two ways that I could do it, but I'm going to do both ways. And one of the ways is that I basically pick uh, a side that I like, and mine is more realistic fiction, honestly, because I'm more of a realist. I, If you sat with me at a table, I'd be one of those people that if you gave, like, a type of way to do something, I would give you a more realistic way to do it. That's just me, and a lot of people call me, and a lot of people say I'm a Debbie Downer, but honestly, I'm not. It's just the way I am. I am very realistic. I do not see imaginary things. I have no imagination, honestly. I am sorry. I do not. But anyway, like I said, that's the first way, like, you could pick a side. And then there's another way that I'm also going to do it, and it is uh, show my favorite realistic uh, fiction books. And I don't have many. Most of them are murder mysteries, actually, because murder mystery is one of my favorite realistic fiction type of books. They're they're very real, and if you read enough of them, they. Never mind. I'm rambling, and I got to stop rambling. So let's get down to it. I'm gonna tell you basically why I am realistic fiction. I kind of already give you a, a, a skim line of it. Realistic fiction is just really good, and I'm more real, and I feel more in touch with. The people in those books, because I can feel their pain, and I feel sometimes I feel like what they're going through, I've went through at one point, and that's just why I love realistic fiction because I'm more in tune with the characters, and it it, it, just, it just makes it a lot easier for me. I do not know. Okay, the books I'm going to show you are all the books that are my favorites in realistic fiction. So the first one is Choker by Elizabeth Woods. I loved this book, and it was very real because this girl was psychotic. She literally, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to tell you the ending, but she was psychotic. Just saying. And there are a lot of psychos out there nowadays, and that is very real. I'm always afraid that a psycho is going to burst in my house. Hopefully he doesn't, because one, I live right on the square of my town, and that is not safe. The next one is Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price. Uh, you can pronounce that name any way you want to. I think if it was Zoe, it would have those two little dots above it. I don't I don't know. I'm not a very good English person, but I did make an A in there for some reason. Um but I call it Zoe Letting Go and this is one of those problem books like she used to be like it's like a mystery slash problem novel like she is anorexic or at least they think she is and she gets sent to a mental mental institution. So that kinda makes it realistic for me. The next one is The Door in the Dragon's Throat by Frankie Peretti, and this is more realistic for me because it is a Christian book, and I am a Christian, and I believe in everything this book even talks about. It talks about demons, it talks about everything there is to talk about, and it's very realistic for me. If it's not for you, that's completely up to you. If it is, well then, good for you, because I liked this book, I liked this series a lot. The next one, I think this is a really a realistic book that everyone should pick. Honestly, if you haven't read it, you really need to go, really need to go read it. And it is Thirteen Reasons Why by Jay Asher. And this is so realistic because suicide nowadays has grown to an exponential rate. If you don't watch the news, watch it because it it there's almost there's a suicide story almost every day. And my glasses look crooked. Need new ones, but if you do not watch the news, there's a suicide story almost every day on this earth. Go watch the news if you don't believe me, because there will be one probably tomorrow or the next day, and I really hope not. But this book deals with suicide, and it is a really good book if you haven't read it. 
The next one is historical slash realistic slash uh, romance slash slash fiction. <laughs> Golly, a lot, and it is called an echo in the dark. An echo. An Echo in the Darkness by Francine Rivers. And this is actually the second book in a series. The first one is actually being borrowed by one of my friends. And it is part of the Mark of the Lion books. I hope historical fiction actually can count for this topic. It is realistic. It could have happened. I mean, really. But uh, this book is really good and it takes place back in the Roman days. Back when, a few years after Jesus Christ was crucified. That, uh... It's a really good series if you haven't read it. I actually got to the second book and I had to stop. Okay, please, I have to talk to you guys about this. I really need your opinion on this. Uh, do some of you have the problem where you can't read a series all in one? I have this problem where I read the first book and I'm like, Wow, mind-blowing, such a great book, I need to read the second one. I get to the second one and I can't even get through the first few pages. Because I'm just like that. I can't take a series all in one. If I read a series all in one, I start to go crazy. But, mm, I think I have that problem mostly because of I've got more books to read than I do anything else in this world. So, yeah. I think that's my problem. Does anybody else have that problem? Leave a comment down below. Please tell me if you have that problem. Because <laughs> I have that problem really bad. And it really needs to get fixed, I think. Uh, but yeah. Great books. The next one is actually a murder story. Well, so was Choker. But, anyways... Uh, the Butterfly Clues by yeah, The Butterfly Clues by Kate Ellison. If you have not read this book, it is very intriguing. I will say that it's very intriguing. Um, I love the cover. That's because it's a blood splatter butterfly. Say that five times flat fast. Blood splatter butterfly. Blood splat. Bleh. See, I can't even say it two times. But anyway. Uh, great book, if you haven't read it. I love murder mysteries. Like I said, I love them, love them, love them. Uh, the murder mysteries for me go up there to zombies. I love zombie books, and it, it was either in a, uh, book, it was either in a bookish days video, or no. It was in one of my book hauls that I said me and zombie books are two, like two peas in a pod. If you do not see me with a zombie book, you are probably hallucinating. Because I love zombie books, and I'm almost buying a zombie book everywhere I go. And right now, I am very addicted to Resident Evil. Um, very addicted now. And who is excited? Who is excited for Resident Evil Six comes out October? So I am very excited for that. I cannot wait. On YouTube, I actually been watching walkthroughs of the demos for Resident Evil Six, and it has been awesome. Uh, so yeah, very excited for Resident Evil Six Retribution. If you have not seen the trailer, go watch it. It's awesome. Anyways, that is not why I'm here to talk about Resident Evil. But anyway, I do love that series. Uh, great murder story. And that is all for me this week, you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below telling me what you prefer more, realistic fiction or fantasy. And give a description why. Uh, my description probably didn't make a lot of sense for a lot of people. And I'm sorry if I ranted a lot and a lot of you thought I was ranting. I don't know. If I was, I am really sorry. I try not to rant and it gets out of hand when I try not to. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys next Monday. Also, Richard, or not Richard, ugh, RJ... Uh, Gonzalez, uh, he is our, can't keep up, I think our Wednesday, Wednesday, he, his birthday was last week, so I just wanted to say, happy birthday RJ, I hope you had a great one, and I'll see you guys next Monday, bye!